Hello. <clears throat> Welcome back to my retro tap. I think we're up to episode nine now. Eight. One of those. I'm as organized as ever. Can you tell? Pifco shoe shine boy. Oh, one of my favorite boxes so far. Oh, it's so cool. Lovely old Pifco crest there. Um, going on the styling of the of the writing, I'm going to go with 50s. I can't find any information at all about this other than the usual vagaries of retro vintage L -A -A -K on eBay, where they're just trying to show you anything just because it's old. But that's not why we're here. We're here to appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to say early 50s because it's got the Pifco crest. They dispensed with this. As far as I can tell from the Pifco products I've experienced, the Pifco crest disappeared sometime around 1954. Um, thereabouts, obviously, there would have been some overlap from stock left on shelves and things. Your mileage may vary. But Pifco shoe shine boy, put a shine on your shoes. As per usual, absolutely gorgeous box. This one wearing its years well. And it's just lovely. Foreign. <laughs> so uh, we already know what that means. This is item number 1657. We've done a total rotation of the box, so we may as well open it, eh? This is, this is special. I, I really, really like this. It's just so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh, where do you start? Where do you start with something like this? I know where we start. With the instruction manual. Don't panic. I'm going to do the thing where you can pause and read it if you'd like. You don't need to listen to me read it to you. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Thumbs block in the view. Yes, that's right. It does take four C cell batteries. And the dead battery that I meant that I struggled to get the magnoscope work in was what I put one of the ones I put in this fresh out of the pack and couldn't get it to work. So I've got some old batteries here that expired in 2003 and 2005, respectively. Um, I've got more faith in them than I have in, in that one because those at least had a service life of some sort. So, first impressions, other than how just lovely it is, this, this makes me think of those um, car-shaped mouldings that they demonstrate vehicle paint on because they've got all the radiuses that show, for example, palescence or metallics and how they refract light. And it just, come on, you know, it's lovely. Is how light it is here when there are no batteries in it, how heavy it is here. And you'll see why in a moment, nice, big, chunky, I mean, for a product this size that's battery powered, that switch is monstrous. Um, so we've, oh, I've just noticed the previous owner's shoe polish is still on this. How lovely. I don't know how to change the ends. We'll find out in a moment. I might have to read the instructions and get back to you. Lovely old school way of opening the battery compartment. So this little hook that you would use to hang it up. Please focus. Let's not play this game today. Um, I've, just, <laughs> I've just noticed it says foreign on there as well. You see that? Um, to open the battery compartment, simply twist. And that's it. Look at the size of those contacts. We're dealing with 1.5 volt batteries. And and yet that's the effort they went to. I was watching an Ave video the other day. I must stop name dropping YouTubers, but I'm really, I, I love YouTube. Um, I was watching an Ave video the other day. The latest Bosch lithium ion batteries don't have contacts that chunky. And look at that motor. That's a beast 
I mean, that takes up its entire allotment of casing. Yeah. You went, um, you're not sneaking down the side of that. That's a monster. It looks like it's got a little gearbox in there as well. So motor and gearbox assembly literally fills this entire case. Very cool. Let's stick some batteries in it and see how we go, shall we? Yes, I'm mixing batteries. No, they're not going to be living in there. <clears throat> Just for now. Like I say, these batteries expired in 2000 and, and that should tell you. I, uh oh, oh well, <laughs> it works. Um, let's pop that over. Let's pop that. Let's let's pop that over. Let's let's pop that over. There we go. <laughs> okay, so. Please focus. That is surprisingly talky. Obviously, you're not going to shove it against your shoes. I'm very impressed so far, I must admit. Okay. Even the uh, brushes say foreign, just in case you were worried that they'd let that they'd let that go. Um. So we've got a couple of different brushes in here, and I didn't. Not 100% sure what they're for, or well, not I know what they're for, they're for cleaning shoes, but I'm gonna have a quick gander at the manual. Bear with me one moment, okay? That's insanely cool. So, these just pop off like that. That felt great, like that felt like a modern interchange on a tool. <clears throat> I'm going to give you 10 seconds to guess what the different colour brushes are for. Five seconds will do it. Have you guessed it yet? Different coloured shoes. <laughs> I have no idea why, but uh, I presume so you don't contaminate your shoes so you can do your nice white dress shoes your wife's heels um i really hope this video is not going to spend its entire life out of focus you could do your nice light colored dress shoes in the middle or your deep black glossy go into go into a an important meal with the tuxedo shoes or your brogues without mixing them up and you apparently touch so you start out dry and then you touch these in polish and then polish, uh, and then once these have run dry, then it's interesting that there isn't a, this box isn't laid out exactly how I'd like. I'm going to look into that because I think it, I think this comes with everything, but I'm not sure. Um, then this guy is a dome, just a, a polishing dome with a felt pad on that's, bless it, wearing out, sadly. And you stretch that over, and once your polish has hazed off, a bit like wax in a car, you set to it with the red pad, and they're gleaming. And you just fit it like that. That's it. I'm really surprised at how talky that is. Let's get one of the brushes on and see how that goes. Oh, it just... You can tell they designed this as a single product. That's got a surprising amount of talk. Friction burn out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that does the job. <laughs> Still got it after all these years. I'm very impressed. So impressed I put it back in the box the wrong way around. I didn't take the batteries out of it. Let's just get another another gander at that battery compartment because that is just lovely. Oh. Perfect. I do apologise if the focus has been all over the place on this. It's very hard to wrangle my appalling phone focus and make sure this is in shot and not lose a hand, especially with this, because clearly it's a bit of a beast. I don't know if Pifco intended it to be that pokey, but it it blooming well is. And you get three extra polishing mitts 
as well. They're better than the ones I could buy for my car. Honestly, they're so soft. Wow. Thoroughly impressed. May make a bit more of a big deal about this play. And this, uh, that is the underrated hero of the collection so far. Hifco, you've done it again. <laughs> again, again. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon.